Now, Philip Schofield has announced he will return to television 16 months after his departure from ITV's This Morning. The former TV star will appear on a Channel 5 special called Castaway. In a post on Instagram, he said, Now you know how I spent my summer. Alone for 10 days. No food, no water, no crew. He goes on to say, My story of survival, both on a desert island and off it. The 62-year-old resigned from ITV last May after he admitted to an unwise but not illegal affair with a younger male colleague. This is Britain's newsroom live across the UK. I am joined back in the studio by broadcaster Mike Parry and former Labour MP Stephen Pound. Right, gentlemen, shall we talk about mm. Philip Schofield? Yes, why not? He obviously didn't do anything illegal. Yeah. Just remind yeah. ourselves of the history, the household's favourite, Saturday night TV on ITV, yep. daily morning uh, TV show on ITV. Yep. Uh, there's a much better show on at the same time as that one, let's all agree that. Absolutely. And, of course... It then That's why it hasn't been missed, of course. <laughs> and he hasn't been missed, and, and it mm. transpires that yeah. he was having a relationship with somebody that worked on the yeah. team, a consensual yeah. gay relationship yeah. whilst married, and all of that comes out. Mm. He is basically thrown to the wolves, effectively. Yeah. Yeah. Holly Willoughby weeps on TV and mm. rides off into the sunset. Now, mm. he has literally ridden off into the sunset. What's he doing, Mike? Well, the, the thing is, his, his TV career just exploded and disappeared. He, he was one of the most successful men on TV in this country, right? But remember, this came right in the middle of the show he's working on this morning, was falling to pieces anyway because of all sorts of problems with the co-presenter, Holly Willoughby, OK? In the middle of that, this unfortunate relationship is revealed, as you quite rightly say, no laws were broken, but it was completely inappropriate. And then there were all sorts of counter allegations like, oh, he used company taxis to ferry this young boy to, which turned out not to be true. Let's make that absolutely clear. But, but, but uh, unfortunately, the animosity and the toxicity ended the programme and ended for conflict. Now, I am now in a position of quite admiring him. He had a massive fall from grace. And to suddenly bounce back in what is a quite significant programme, it's a Channel 5 programme, from outcast to cast day, uh, shock TV returns, he's in pour out his heart over his this morning sacking. That's the peg <coughs> for which everybody will have wanted to get him onto a show. But Channel 5 have got him on this show. It's all about being uh, stranded on a desert island and it's in Madagascar where he's going to talk big. Now, I admire him because during my long career in journalism, 50 years, you do fall off the cliff occasionally. 50 years? Mike, yeah. that can't possibly it, be it, true. It, it is, yeah. Uh, he was the first fetus to have his own column. <laughs> <laughs> Started at 18. Um, so what I'm saying is, when my career in newspapers ended, you fall off a cliff, all of a sudden I reinvented myself in radio and about 25 years later fell off the cliff and now... I'm here. You're on one of TV. the most sought-after yeah. rent-a-gods yeah. yeah. on TV. Yeah. But, but the point I'm saying is that he's reinvented himself and come back. And for that, you have to have, no matter what the circumstances were of him disappearing from his last programme, I admire the boy for bouncing back. Do but, you? I, I think so this, you know, you, you, the, the soundtrack to this should be Chumba Wumbas. You know, I get knocked down, but I get up again. That's but, right. I'll tell you what worried me about the Philip yeah. Schofield thing. First of all, he seemed to be blamed for the sins of his brother. Um, you know, he... Oh, good point. I'd forgotten now, that. I, I, I'm Stephen. sorry, but you know, the sins of the brother are not visited upon the brother. And, and it was mm. because his brother, you know, there were issues there, which I don't want to go into. Yes. Well, he, he went he to was... prison, didn't he, for in, indeed he did, yeah. sexual offences? Yeah, indeed. Mm. Now, with, with Philip Schofield, you know, he was a man who was struggling with his own sexual identity. Yeah. The, the young man concerned was over the age of consent. There's nothing illegal. And I think, as you say, he was thrown to the wolves. He was thrown under a bus. Yeah. Mm. And I think fair play to him. He's got the guts and the courage. Because he was actually a very, very approachable judge. He oh, had, yeah. His teeth used to blind me, I have to say, when he yeah. smiled. But, you know, yeah. I, I can kind of forgive him for but that. Isn't mm. it but isn't Fair play to him. Don't you yeah. find it fascinating, though, that somebody... Let's just have a look. I mean, he's yeah. literally the front page of the Sun. Why? Today, Why? That somebody yeah. exerts that much... PR power. This yeah. is what I find well, it's fascinating. Fascination. It can be hard to get a decent story about a celebrity in a paper. Yeah. And he's managed to get himself on the front but page. But he's got a great story to tell. His, his decline and fall of Philip Schofield is still one of the most interesting stories in television, yeah. which people want to know about. And 18 months on, the show he's on is called Castaway, so he's, he's on a desert island and, and he's almost sort of, you know... He's completely alone. Yeah, completely alone. And he's looking inside his own head. And this 
is a fascinating insight into how one of the most spectacular TV careers in this country collapsed. Don't forget also, it coincided with him being accused of trying to jump the queue at to the Queen's Lion With Holly Willoughby, the yeah, two of them yeah, together. Yeah, next exactly. Together. The Queen's Lion uh, David Beckham was shocked. Uh, absolutely. Well, David Beckham did queue up for 30 hours. Yeah, I know. So, fair fair yeah. so what I'm saying is, all yeah. these factors came together and boom, it all blew up in his face. It so is very clever. This is sort of therapy, his 10 days on the well, island. Yes, I am. He could. He could just do that therapy quietly behind closed doors with an actual therapist if he wanted to show any sort of genuine contrition. Maybe he's done that as well. If make two well, million quid out of it... He's not getting paid two million quid. I don't know what he's getting paid. He what I'm saying no. is he no. was a very, no. very highly paid... He's, he's not yes, Nigel he Farage. Yeah. He won't be getting two well. million quid for it. But it's basically him on an island with a camera. It's only ten days. I mean, he's not yeah. he's not doing a blooming I Bear grills here, is he? It's only it, ten days. It's not days. like one of those, those two astronauts who are not coming down right. to February. OK, yeah. Stephen Powell. Welcome back. So, Philip Schofield, shamed TV presenter, has announced that he will return to television 16 months after his exit from ITV's This Morning. He's going to appear on a special of Castaway. Do you want to welcome him back to your screen? Well, the show is reporter Stephanie Tetchy uh, joins me now to talk about this morning, Steph. So, morning. it was always interesting, wasn't it, to see what Philip Schofield would do. He was never charged with any crime. He certainly left under a cloud of disgrace when he, he left this morning, but he had a consensual relationship with a staff member from the programme. I think if I'd sat down to think what he might do next, this wouldn't have been on my list of potential jobs that he might do. What, what was your reaction when you heard that he was going to do this, this show? Um, actually, I was quite opposite to you because actually I think that this has been a long time coming for the past year or so. There's been mm -hmm. a lot of rumours about what Philip Schofield will do next. As you said, his affair with a younger colleague on this morning, it wasn't illegal. We're not talking a, about the Hugh Edwards style of scandal here. So when it comes to TV producers, someone like Philip Schofield is TV god because there's always that question, what did Phil Sch Philip Schofield do next? And as he said, since the whole scandal, he's had time to think about his life, what went right, what went wrong. Mm. And clearly for this series, it's going to be a bit of a redemptive um, plea from Philip Schofield to express how his life has changed and what he's learned from the scandal. But the thing is, I don't think TV producers have read the room with audiences at home. I think it's going to be a series that audiences are going to love to hate to watch because mm. I think with these kind of situations, they feel that bad behaviour is being rewarded with a TV show. And that's quite distasteful for some viewers. But there is still that curiosity of what has become of Philip Schofield. And he's going to be stripped of all of his luxuries. He's going to be living in an island in Madis Madagascar by himself for 10 days with barely any food or water. So that can push any human to their limit, except mm -hmm. for someone like Philip Schofield, who now is trying to win back admiration of viewers. It's uh, People might remember this show because it, they've only done a few of them, haven't they? But the most famous mm. one was Joanna Lumley. And she was like, that was years ago, Stephanie. Yeah. I don't know whether you know how many years ago. At least 10 years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. And yes, she, the most we yeah, and she made a bra, she made shoes out of her bra was the famous clip. And this was, and as a reality show, it was very much ahead of its time because they were these celebrities, as far as we know, and I'm sure they can't lie about this anymore, on their own with their own cameras, their GoPro, not another human being. And so it's up to the person, the celebrity, to make entertaining television. Yes, and definitely for Philip Schofield now, it's going to be three episodes. So it's going to be, he's had to fill the airtime with this for someone who's by himself and someone who has gone through something quite controversial. I do think that this is very much going to be a series of Philip Schofield reflecting on his life. And we're actually going to see how Philip Schofield is minus the glitz and glamour of this morning. It's going to be quite raw. It's going to be quite poignant to see what he has to say. And obviously it's going to be interesting to see how TV producers are going to push him to his limits. He's not going to be on the comfort zone of the This Morning sofa. It's just going to be him. And he's going to have to talk about that scandal. Fascinating. So I think that's where yeah. the interest will be. And somehow, thank you, Stephanie Tetchy, their showbiz uh, correspondent. Somehow he's got to make it interesting for three shows of himself on an island. <laughs> right. That is it from Britain's newsroom for today.